Welcome back folks, today I'm back shooting slugs and with a very specific brand in mind and these are the Zan, Zan slugs. So I did a bit of research on the web and I couldn't find the exact BC of these slugs and I know that BC differs with speed and blah 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 all those nice things. So I decided why not make a whole BC range for you guys and a chart and the whole scenario. So I'm going to go basically through the whole range of um, slugs that I've got from BC and a big big thank you to Ian at saarifles.co.za Ian thank you for this uh, sponsorship yes these slugs were given to me by Ian in the whole hope that I will go through the whole range and do some videos about that so that's exactly what I'm doing thank you Ian right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot these slugs at different speeds I'm gonna give you guys the BC reading and I'm using the FX True Ballistic Chronograph to do this. There's a video clip about here and there goes an aeroplane. For today's shooting, I'm going to use my trusty old FX Impact. It's got a 700mm um, heavy slug line on it. I haven't put on the 800mm yet. That's still a video to come at a later stage. But I'm going to use the True Ballistic Chronograph today to calculate the BC. Now the True Ballistic Chronograph, and there's a whole video about it. So if you want to calculate the BC of a gun, you need two cronies. You need one where you're shooting at, and then you need another one further on. And I'll show you why the FX True Ballistic Chronograph, you don't need two cronies. Because it actually has two radars built in. I'll explain that just now. Look at the photo, alright? There's actually two videos about it. I'll leave both down the link. Actually measures four distances. And the different speeds at those four distances to calculate the correct BC. So hopefully we're going to get everything there. So on the lineup today is the 20 grainers, 22 grain, what's this one? 23 grain, 25.5 grain, 28 grain. 30 grain and 33 grain so I'm gonna look at the BC of each of these slugs and I'm gonna shoot them at different speeds to give you guys an indication of does the BC change with these slugs if I shoot them a little bit faster or slower and that's the whole idea for today let me quickly get the setup get the crony all set up the video cameras all set up I'm not gonna test for accuracy today today is again all about BC and our friends at Zahn that has made some excellent slugs let's get into it First up is going to be the Zuns, in this is the 20 grainers um, and I'm going to run them a little bit fast, my gun is actually set up for 30 grainers, so I've got my power wheel all the way down to minimum, my regulator is about 134, semantics doesn't matter, that's not what we hear today. Let me shoot a 5 shot group, have a look at the BC, up the speed a little bit, rinse and repeat. Um, I don't think I'm going to push them way, way beyond a thousand feet per second because of two things. They tend to get a little bit unstable at too high a speed and they make a hell of a noise. Right, Zons. Right, five shots. Let's quickly have a look. Right, that's an average BC of 0 0.08, average speed of 1021. I'm going to up the power by one and redo the exercise. Let's go for this. Actually surprised by the grouping. Let's have a look at that BC, if there was any changes. BC came down slightly to 0 0.079 with that average speed, 1080 feet per second. One thing I must admit, the grouping in front doesn't look too bad. All right. Time to recalibrate everything and go up to the slightly heavy zones. Next up, the zones in the 22 grainers. Alright, let's quickly have a look. Average speed 948, BC 0.072. Let's up the speed by 1. And give it another up. Right, that's five shots. 
975 average, BC 0.077. Let's push them a little bit harder. Right, upping the power by one. Let's see what they do. Average speed 1042, but look at that BC increasing to 0.086. Now that's an interesting one with the increased speed. Right, time to move on to the 23 grainers. Oh, and the wind is howling out here. The 22 grainers show a definite, definite upward curve the moment you increase speed with a very decent um, BC around 975 feet, but at 1040, a 0 0.86 BC. Moving on to the 23 grainers, exact same exercise, starting on minimum power. Ooh, they zipped nicely. Average speed 958, BC 0 0.088. Now that's not too bad at all. Let's up the power by one. Shoo, they're running fast. 1021 feet per second, BC 0 0.095. That's a massive jump in BC, all right? Let's push them a little bit harder. Shoo, all right. Wrong setting there, but it doesn't matter. All right, average speed 1034. BC 0.1. Now that's an interesting BC. Accuracy not too shabby either. Given that this is a heavy slug line barrel, hmm, I'm not at all disappointed. Right, time to set up for a little bit more heavier weight. This will be the 25.5 grainers. The 23 grainers shows exactly the same upward curve with an immaculate BC of 0 .0, uh, 0.1 already at 1034 feet per second. At the preferred speed at 958, BC of 0 0.088. Next up, one of my favorite weights, the 25.5 grains. Minimum power. Excellent grouping. Average speed 938, BC 0.091. That's an excellent BC for that speed. Let's up the power a little bit. <laughs> Cloverleaf grouping, so obviously the gun loves the speed. 978 feet per second, BC 0.092. Let's go a little bit faster. Okay, I think we can go slightly faster than that. 990 feet per second, 0.095. Hmm, let me get five more sluggies out here. Right, accuracy dropped a little bit at the higher speed. Let's look at the averages. 1009 feet per second, BC 0.099. Not too shabby, all right. Time for me to reset everything, get everything up and running again, and then we're going over to the slightly heavier slugs. The 25.5 grainers didn't disappoint at all. With a BC of 0 0.099 at 1009 feet per second, and a very decent BC of 0 0.9 plus through all the power ranges and speed ranges. Interesting to see what these gun guys will do at 100 and 150 meters. The BC is just immaculate. Time to go for the 28 grainers. Um, I'm gonna run them from minimum, probably four settings. So let's see what happens. Um, when I just did a quick exercise, 870 feet per second, which I think is a little bit slow, and the point of impact was to the left. But let me show you what it can do on the crony. Definitely too slow for these slugs. Um, the grouping wasn't that great. BC 0.093, average speed 870. They need to go up to about 970. Let's see where the next power setting gets me. Still too slow. BC 0.099, that's also 916 feet per second. Still too slow, let's up it. Ooh, immediately the grouping just said Small, small grouping. Nice. Love that. Let's see what it shows. 
995 feet per second, BC 0.11. Wow, that's a great BC. Let's up the speed a little bit more. <laughs> Oops, that was a bit too much power. Uh, not what it loved. Um, 1036, let's see what the averages are. Average 104.2, BC 0.118. Now that's a massive BC, but I did not get the accuracy I was looking for. Uh, but interesting to see these guys go up in the BC. Next one up is going to be the 30 grainers. So that's going to be the heavyweights. This is what this gun is tuned for. Should run them at around about 965 if I'm lucky. Let's go ahead to the next one. The 28 grainers was a nice surprise. From 872 feet per second with a BC of 0.09 all the way to a BC of 0.118. That is not too shabby. Maybe I can push them a little bit harder next time round. The 30 grainers barely fits into my old school magazines. So I know that the 33 grainers, the last ones I'm going to shoot, I'll have to hand load. But that's not a problem. I've got a little single loader with me. Now, let's look at the 30 grainers. I'm going to shoot them a little bit slow on the first setting. And then we're going to chase them a little bit. Very acceptable grouping, although the speed is extremely slow. Let's push the speed up by two and see what happens next. But let's have a quick squeeze here. 863 feet per second, BC 0.097. Not too shabby, Nige. Let's push, this, push the speeds a little bit. Sorry, that nearly came out wrong. That's a much better speed. 946 BC 0.119. Sure. Let's up it a little bit more. Ha! Used eight shots. Why not? I can. Right. 980. Much, much, much better on the speed wise. Uh, spread 12. That's fine. Look at that BC 0.127. That is massive. That is really massive. All right, one more power setting to go. What a nice grouping. And at that speed, I told you this gun loves 30 grainers. Right, 30 grainers at 10, 1,010 feet per second. Uh, shoo, BC 0.133. Massive, massive increase in BC as we go up in speed. So it's very important to know that at what speed are you setting your gun? At what speed are you building your, your click chart? Very important because this will have a massive difference when you look at long distance shooting, specifically the 150 meter plus ranges. Hmm, one more to go. My gun absolutely adores 30 grainers and I saw that in the accuracy up front as well. With the BC starting off at 0.097 all the way to 0.136, if your gun's harmonics like them at that faster speed, go mad, zing them down the road. Last one for today, Zahn 33 grainers. Alright, didn't like that speed that much. Let's have a look at the BC. 882 feet per second, BC 0 0.0105. Hmm, all right, let's up it a little bit, see what happens. Oh my greatness! That, ladies and gentlemen, was one of the tightest groupings I've ever, ever shot with slugs at 30 meters. Hmm, mightily impressive. Love the speed. 966 BC 0 0.129. Unbelievable. Right, let's up the power one more. See what happens. Whew. Harmonic wise, battle didn't like that. Let's see what the results are on the chronograph. Right, 986 BC 0 0.136. Hmm, one more to go. Maximum power. Ha, harmonic wise, a heck of a lot better. 
heck of a lot better. It's all about harmonics with slugs, eh? there's nothing else. Almost 72 foot pound energy, average speed 1000 feet per second, BC 0.129. I can definitely with, live with that. Right, ladies and gentlemen, let me get, get the calculator out. Let me build some spreadsheets for you so you can give it, get an indication of what weight, what BC, at what speed. With the 33 grainers, I saw a little bit of an anomaly there where the BC actually came down on the top speed. Now, I need to go and further investigate that. That just doesn't look 100% for me. But in any case, those are the results I got today. Decent BC above 0.1 on every single speed so this brings us to our speed conclusion the 20 grainers up to the 22 grainers with a bc of 0 0.078 thereabouts 23 grainers touching bc of 0 1 25 grainers also touching there on 0 0.1 and then the surprise 0.118 on the 28 grainers 0.136 on the 30 grainers I'm certain if I pushed these 33 grainers a little bit faster, I would have had a better BC as well. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You now have all the zones in different weights, at different speeds, and their different BCs. Happy hunting out there. See you in the next one. That's all, folks.